Solar panels installed on flat roofs with little or no tilt often face a common problem, water puddling and dirt buildup. Over time, that grime can reduce the panel's ability to generate power efficiently. So seven months ago, I fitted a solar panel drain to see if it could fix the issue. Today, we're back to check the results. The issue of water and dirt buildup starts with the design of the mounting frame. It creates a small lip around the edge of the panel. Rainwater naturally runs off on sloped roofs, carrying dust and debris with it, but as the roof slope decreases, especially on flat installations, that lip becomes a trap. Water begins to puddle in the lower areas and when it evaporates it leaves behind a layer of dirt and grime. Over time this accumulation can spread across the panel's surface, gradually covering the solar cells and reducing their efficiency. We can already see this happening on the panels installed around a year ago. One potential solution is to fit a solar panel drain, a small low-cost clip made from UV resistant plastic that attaches directly to the edge of the panel. These clips come in various sizes to suit different frame types, which is especially helpful for older installations with thicker frames. The drain serves two key functions. First, it breaks the surface tension of the water, and second, it provides a channel that allows the water to flow off the side of the panel more easily. Simple, but surprisingly effective. To test these clips, I retrofitted them to this installation, which has panels mounted in both landscape and portrait orientations. The clips are simple to install, just snap them over the edge of the panel. I've added two clips to each panel, positioning them near the corners where water and dirt tend to build up the most. To properly compare the results, I left one row of panels without any clips to see the difference over time. So after seven months, what are the results? Has this simple fix made a noticeable difference? Let's take a closer look at how the panels with the drain clips compare to those without. On the portrait-oriented panels, the drains have done a great job. There's only a slight debris buildup near the panel lip, far less than we'd generally expect. Interestingly, I fitted just a single drain in one corner on one panel and it performed just as well, if not better. You could argue it's more effective because the area around both drains on fully fitted panels tends to become a new collection point for dirt, so fewer clips might reduce that secondary accumulation. The story with the landscape-oriented panels is a bit different. You can clearly see that the drains have done their job. There's noticeably less dirt in the areas around where the clips are installed. However, there's still significant dirt accumulation in the middle of the panels. This tells me there's likely a slight dip in the panel's level, probably caused by how it's supported. As a result, water tends to collect in the center. In hindsight, I should have installed a drain clip in the middle of the panel, away from the mounting brackets, to help water drain from that low point. So what's next? I will remove a drain and reposition the remaining one on the landscape panels to the low points in the center. I'll also remove one of the drains from each of the portrait panels and relocate it to the center as well. Then. I'll give all the panels a clean to remove the remaining dirt. Now, I don't think these drains will eliminate the need for cleaning panels on flat roofs, but the early signs are promising. If the drains are correctly positioned, cleaning intervals could be reduced. That said, you'll still need to keep an eye on the areas around the drains as dirt can build up and eventually clog them. Let me know in the comments if you have installed these drains or are dealing with similar issues with flat roof installations. I'd love to hear your experiences. Of course, one way to avoid this issue altogether is to install solar panels without a lip. I came across a panel like that at the recent InterSolar exhibition in Munich. If you'd like to learn more about that and the many other innovations we discovered in the world of solar and renewables, check out our review video on screen now. And don't worry, we'll be back in another seven or so months to check in on this installation and see how the changes are holding up. Thank you.